Hello, welcome to Sustainable Truth. Want to find out how our electrical grid works in simple terms? The good, the bad and solutions available? Stick around and let's get into it. Let's boil it down to the basics. What is electrical grid? The complex system known as the electrical grid was designed to supply power from its point of generation to the people who use it for their daily needs. Today, this system connects millions of homes and companies across thousands of miles all across the world. The grid is made up of countless intricate interconnections, but it's primarily divided into three parts. Electricity generation, transmission and distribution. Electricity being produced uses wide range of energy sources and technology. The three main types of energy used to generate electricity are nuclear energy, renewable energy sources and fossil fuels, which is coal, natural gas and petroleum. Using fossil fuels, nuclear energy, biomass, geothermal and solar thermal energy, steam turbines are also used to produce the majority of world's power. Gas turbines, hydro turbines, wind turbines and solar are some additional significant electricity generation systems. All this energy is created on demand and is for the most part not stored anywhere. It goes directly to consumers. This made grids tricky to manage as they had to predict exact demand of the customers. Burning fossil fuels puts carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which raises CO2 levels, traps heat and causes climate change on a worldwide scale. Although natural gas burns more cleanly than coal and liquid petroleum, it still releases a lot of carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. During the extraction and transportation of natural gas, large amounts of methane are released. Over a 20 year period, methane is 87 times more harmful as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. The main advantages of renewable energy for both people and the environment. It produces little or no greenhouse gas emissions. That benefits the environment. It produces little or no air pollution. That's healthier for us. It's inexpensive. That's advantageous for maintaining reasonable energy prices. Jobs are produced by renewable energy. That's advantageous for the neighborhood. Everyone has access to renewable energy. That's advantageous for growth. Renewable energy is safe. That helps stability. So what is the problem? Let's just build loads of wind turbines and solar panels and we will solve the pollution problem. Well, not exactly. Renewable energy is not always reliable. The weather, such as sun and wind, completely determines whether renewable energy technologies can capture any energy. Renewable energy sources will be unable to produce any electricity if the weather conditions are poor. For instance, solar panels need clear sky and sunshine to obtain the energy needed to generate power. Yet, this energy is not collected at night. Wind turbines also require wind to blow constantly. So how do we get around this? Well, it's already in the works. Large-scale energy storage is essential to the success of renewable energy sources. Tesla's Megapack is a massive battery that offers energy assistance and storage, assisting in grid stabilization and outage protection. A battery called a power wall is a device that can store energy, detect outages and take over your home's energy supply when the grid is down. Power wall, as opposed to generators, keeps your lights and your phones charged without maintenance, fuel or noise. It can be charged by solar panels as well as the grid. Combining these technologies on a large scale and coupling them with Tesla's auto bidder software, which autonomously trades energy in real time to provide the best value for the batteries installed. As these technologies scale, they will disrupt the energy sector and improve cost of electricity as well as grid stability. It is evident that the technology to solve the grid problems is there. It's just a matter of scaling and in case of Tesla, time until it will be mainstream. Power grid around the world is massive and it's going to be a huge undertaking. A lot of the batteries will be needed. Therefore, even though Tesla is in the lead at the moment, there is so much more room for other companies to start with this transition and make profit in the process. At this time, the main limiting factor is the lack of batteries, 
but as the supply increases, this transition will also speed up. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. I would encourage you to reach out in the comments on what other topics you would like to hear about. Thanks again and until next time.